Hey, do you want to watch the 2013 senior video? Yeah, of course, man. Sounds good. Put it in. Okay. I'd have to say my most memorable experience at the prep would have to be playing on varsity soccer sophomore year, just because that's probably the most fun-loving group of girls I've ever spent time with on any team I've ever played with. Favorite class would have to be sophomore year, E period, Mr. Woods in um, geometry. Uh, a lot of memories in that class. Probably <laughs> the most fun class you can be in. Of course I made lifelong friends like Brittany, Sophia, Nisha, maybe Natasha. No, I love her. Oh yeah, and Ricky. Come here, Ricky. This is my best friend, Ricky, too. We love hey each other. My favorite class was Mr. Ganchi's B period biology sophomore year. I feel like I, that's where I got the most friendships with people that, that year, and I'm like still friends with them now. My fondest experience at prep would definitely have to be when the Seraph won most outstanding newspaper in Long Island and Queens at the Adelphi Quill Awards ceremony. My favorite teacher after four years here has to be Miss Dragonick. She's, she's the funniest teacher ever and she's so cool. My favorite class was Regents Physics with Dr. Marshall. <laughs> Our most memorable moment at PEP was lab with Dr. Marshall then. <laughs> My favorite teachers have been Mr. Devison and Mr. Carrera. Funniest teachers at PrEP. Definitely Mr. Kruger, because he's probably the only person in this world I know that could put up with my German class for three years. He's definitely become like almost like a father figure to me in the four years I've been here. I'm on Mr. People. Um, I miss the lunch. I miss um, Claudia, the lunch lady. She was very nice. And, um, just gonna miss the school, period. I can't believe four years went by so fast. My top three favorite faculty members would have to be Miss Vona, I love her, Miss Armand, she's always been there for me, and Mr. Maselli, he's so funny. I would say my favorite club is Hip Hop Club because, you know, we, like, my friends started it and we all joined together as a family and every time we meet, it's a really fun time. Uh, it has to be SFP TV. I had a lot of fun doing that. My most memorable teacher is Mrs. Verdi because we spent a lot of time together working on the yearbook and she's just a great person. Um, I'd have to say yearbook because it was just so much fun like it was like a secret to us what the yearbook was and then seeing everyone's face when they got their yearbook it was just so heartwarming like it was just so cool and fun. My most memorable experience would be um, the sophomore trip to the zoo because it was just a day for all of us to be together and we had a lot of fun. Some of my most memorable experiences at prep has been with the uh, music department. I was part of two ensembles, prep chorus and concert chorus, and for four years. And doing the concerts, having to suffer through concert week, and uh, performing some really amazing songs has been the best uh, experience. Just got to meet Mr. Kobayashi, he's one of the best teachers, and Mr. Madama had him for four years. He's uh, really fantastic. My fondest memory was Mr. Zantarski's class junior year every single day. <laughs> Mine was the 2012 SFP ski trip. Woo! 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 <laughs> Mine! Favorite! Memory! It's... Haggy Sack! <laughs> Woo! Uh, my favorite teacher has been Mr. Ganji because uh, he really helped me through bio. I love you, man. My favorite class was poetry class because Mr. Passioni did such a great job teaching. He just kind of wanted to get up and start your life right then and there. And he like would make us get up and we had to go see that really nice tree right over there. And you kind of just appreciate the little things after poetry class. My favorite extracurricular activity has been theater. And mine has been track and field. <laughs> but we both went on a Europe trip together with the school and it was the best experience ever. <laughs> Uh, my favorite memory at prep was definitely going to Hawaii. The best experience of my life, the people who went were just amazing. 
you know, you really get to see like, you know, the great side of teachers, the people who were Mr. Danchi, Mr. Colucci, Mr. John. It was actually great, you know, swimming with dolphins and everything. It was the best time of my life. And everyone, if you could go to Hawaii, I suggest you go because it's amazing. My favorite teacher was Mr. Passione because he was so passionate and um, in love with his work that it made me passionate about poetry. I love you, Mr. Passione, and I hope to see you again soon. Our favorite department would have to be the, the art department. department. Um, I mean, we got to experience so many great teachers, Mr. Salmon, Mr. Antonori, Ms. Guelli, I could go on and on, and they really gave us the tools we need in our creative fields to like even from, express ourselves and learn more. Even from freshman year, we, went, we took studio art together, went to performing arts, and then, you know, Ms. Mejia, then, you know, senior year is painting, Ms. Buccino. Mr. Antonori, yeah, Mr. Just, Salmon, Ms. Anderson they really for 2D. Made us, they really made us see like really different areas of study that really ended up meaning a lot to me, and I really owe them for that. So thank you. Thank you. Can't believe it's over. I know. Brought back so many memories. Let's watch some TV and get our minds off it. Oh, yeah. So coming up next, we have Kadir Wisdom. Here he is right here. He's a prodigy from St. Francis Prep. He's going to be kicking us off. Tell us a little about yourself. Well, um, my name is Kadir Wisdom, a.k.a. Showtime, a.k.a. Showtease. Uh, I've uh, attended the prep for four years. Um, almost couldn't graduate from here because my mama couldn't pay the tuition. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> but, but you know what? You're going to make it back today, right? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Let's show those judges, man. You got this. What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm, uh, I'm Kadir Showtime Wisdom, and uh, I'm going to be performing one of my songs, because, you know, I got my own record label and everything. Family Matters. And, uh, yeah, so it's called Sky High. Oh my God, shorty over there looking really, really hot, and I'm all up in the spotlight. Baby, I'ma take you sky high. Baby, I'ma take you sky high. Thank you. I know I was great. My man, Kadir. I like it. I like it, dog. I really do. I like. I like. I like the way you put into it. I like the groove. I like the feeling. It's all good, man. You got my vote. I like it. I like it. That is pathetic. He's pathetic. You're pathetic. I thought it was unbelievable. Baby, you're gonna be a star. I don't know if we're listening to the same thing, because <laughs> I think, right? I think oh, you're, you're not Usher, you're not Kanye, you're Kadir. Right? No. <laughs> I think he needs to get a job back in the factory with Julie Wonka, making chocolate. Sadly. All right. Kadir just finished up. I heard he killed it in there. He's about to come out and tell us the reaction. Let's see what happened. What happened, man? Man, you don't know nothing, man. I put my heart out now. I put my heart out of that room, man. Mama! Graduation's not for everyone. Mama! I'm going yeah. to summer school. It's called uh, commercial. <laughs> Hold it. Dress code violation. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anybody else? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dress code violation. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Dress code violation, thank you. Blue shoes, not good. Seniors are pretty happy graduating from St. Francis Prep. How happy are they? Happier than Mr. John giving out dress code violations? Dress code violation. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Get happy, get terrier. 15 minutes of washing a uniform the night before could save you 15 hours of detention. Alright, here we are back at Prep Idol, and right now we have our next contestant getting ready. He's walking up right now. Here he is, right here. Right. Son! Yes, so, yes, so yes. What's me, up? Uh, what's name, on? everything that's going on. How you doing? Right to the camera. Uh, I'm Kevin Petri. I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha. And I can't wait to go in there and rock this. Are you ready? I was born ready. Alright, kill it in there, Mahalo. bro. Kill, kill it in there, bro. Alright, everybody ready? Alright, here we go. Let me
we just get ready first. All right. Let's rock. just finished up. He played an awesome set. Let's see what the judges thought of him this time, all right? Let's see what happens. Hey, there he is. What happened? How'd it go in there? I just don't understand what they don't see. I mean, it's such passionate, emotionally driven music, but they just weren't feeling it. You'll find, you'll find someone eventually. Somewhere, somewhere. It happens. Mahalo. And today we're going to continue our discussion of the 1920s. And during the period of the 20s, there was a significant amount of cultural as well as political changes. And one of the most interesting parts about the 1920s happens to be the Harlem Renaissance, which really tells us a lot about the changes that took place as far as culture, literature, and dance. Do the Harlem Shake! My name's Chris, and I'm here to sell this toy tank. I need the money because I want to graduate, but I also owe the school 50 bucks. I found it on the floor, but no one needs to know that. Hi, I need to sell this tank. Um, I don't know what it's worth. I'm going to have to call an expert. What do you got? I have this toy tank. Toy. It's definitely a toy. Well, I'm trying to graduate. You're trying to graduate? Yeah. What do you think it's worth? At least 50 to $100. 50 to $100. I need to graduate, man. You're not graduating. Why not? Listen, for me to look at that tank, you got to give me money. Are you kidding me? Yeah. How much money you got? Well, I have uh... That's enough. And I'll keep the tank. You're not graduating. You want to see a real tank? All That's right, a real tank. Real That's a real tank. Forget this. You keep better get out of here. Keep the tank. You're not graduating.
because you had to bring your ukulele to school. Look at this, violations from teachers every day that you had this instrument in class. When is this gonna stop? Well, I just wanna be famous and I'll do whatever it takes. You wanna be famous? You're not gonna get out of high school. You gotta get out of here. Just don't forget to be humble and proud, even after graduation. <laughs> 